It's another edition of the Hong Kong Wine Challenge. But this time I'm in the offices of Link Concept and WineshopAsia.com. I'm with owner Patricio de la Fuente Saez, great friend of mine, one of the top wine drinkers I know here, always drinking great wines. He likes cigars too. But I said, Patricio, we got to do a challenge. And he says, I got a challenge for you. He goes, I'm going to pour you three great Bordeaux from the 1970s that cost less than a thousand Hong Kong and that you're going to give 92 points or more. So let's see if you can pull that off, Patricia. Okay, great. Thanks, James. Can I uh, pour the first wine for you? And you're specializing a lot now in your new venture with, uh, with old Bordeaux. We, um, we like drinking wine, so I'm, uh, I always like to say I don't like to store my wines for 30 years, but I'd rather be drinking a 30-year-old wine. And, you know, there's a lot of old Sense in Bordeaux that. available in the market now. And you're sourcing mostly from, uh, from Europe? Mostly from Europe. Uh, we buy a lot in Belgium, Holland, and France, and Spain, because there's always been that, 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 that habit and legacy of buying wines and storing them for a long time. And so you can see right away the, uh, with the color, it's sort of a uh, garnet color with amber edge. That's how it should be yeah. for a wine from that period. Yeah. The nose. You're getting lots of this sort of leafy, yeah. wet earth, but also ripe fruit at the yeah. same time. No, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm a big fan of the um, wines from 70, 71, and 75. They're really drinking very well now. And a lot of people have completely forgot about them because of the 80s. Everyone 82, 85, 86, 89. This wine, you know, I love old wines as well. And it's interesting because if you're used to drinking big, jammy wines, it may be hard for some people to understand, but it's so balanced and yep. fresh, that acidity. And also a little bit austere, and I think for uh, residents of Hong Kong and, let's say, uh, China at large, they really like that slightly austere, yep. tannic character. It almost has a tea character to it. Absolutely. And you don't really... Um the, in the nose, you don't really see the age of the wine. In the color, you don't really see the age of the wine. So it's, it's, it's always very surprising, and people love drinking this. Well, I'm definitely 92 on that one. And I, I love the acidity. It makes you want to drink it. It's sort yeah. of savory almost. Uh, it's, it's, it's great. Well, let's go to the second one. We'll, we'll uh, reveal the wines after we uh, taste all three. Okay, here we go. Was there any theme here other than just the the uh, vintage, or, or was there any th appellation? Well, we tried theme? to stay under a thousand dollars, and um, I like seventies. Uh, so under a thousand is how much in in U.S. Then that'd be about a hundred and twenty U.S. dollars. Wow! Yeah. So it's just a good deal, right? This has almost a smoky, yeah. peaty character to it. Yeah. Dried fruits. Beautiful color. Yeah. This has slightly firmer tannins, yep. which suggests it might be a 75, because uh, 75s are a more tannic year. Mm -hmm. But again, beautiful ripe fruit. It has a yep. very ripe fruit. Again, 75 was a riper yep. vintage. It, it almost, almost shriveled the grapes, but you had very uh, powerful tannin structure. And this has a little bit more density to it. Yep than Absolutely. the first one. I'm 93 on this. I love this wine. Oh, it's really impressive. Wow. That's oh, beautiful. Finish this. We're not speeding, you know. This is gonna, um, when you're tasting wines like this, mm. let's see if you can pull this off. Are you thinking this is going to be the best one in the tasting? or? Um, I think they're all great. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. It's number three. They're all nice. I mean, we, we, we decanted them half an hour ago, and they're changing. Whoa. They're very different from when we opened them, so let's see. This has even more fruit. Ah, this is... Almost a balsamic character, <laughs> tobacco. <laughs> yeah. Wow, blackberries. Yep. Cedar. And again, look at the color. The beautiful color. You, know? you drink this blind, you'll serve this to anyone blind. They will never guess it's, it's from the 70s. Whoa. Yeah. And again, it's, it's because of how it was stored. You know, these wines were untouched. They've been lying there for 30 years. And then their first trip is on Cathay Pacific uh, in a nice air-conditioned cabin to Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> so you send all your wines to uh, Marco Polo class. Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> it's good for my points. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> hmm. I can't believe how fresh it is, and it's, yeah, it beautiful. tastes of an old wine, but then it's so fresh on the palate. This is for me. For me, this is my favorite wine of the tasting because it's almost like a combination of the two wines. Yeah. Where you have that leafy tea tobacco character of the first wine, and then the dense, rich fruit and firm tannins of the second wine. I'm debating whether to give it 95 or 94. Oh, that's fantastic. So the first wine, what is it? Uh, James, you're going to be you're very happy when you see this, but I'm going to drink this glass first because it's too good, right? <laughs> okay, I'll finish mine. Pour a little bit more for you. Okay. Because there's nothing better than a good glass of wine in the morning. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree with me? I agree with you. But old wine like this. Especially I didn't have morning too. <laughs> okay, the first wine. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Chateau Haute Bailly, 1970. 70. And yeah. that's less than a thousand? Less than a thousand dollars. But wait a minute, that's less than their two thousand that's like half price of the two thousand. Exactly. Or two thousand nine even. Yeah. Wow. And this is, you know. Cheers, great wine. Beautiful. And we're just going up. I was maybe I was being over over generous on All right. The next wine is a Chateau de Pez, Saint Estef. Seventy. Nineteen seventy. I love Wow. I liked um, it better than the old by even. I love Chateau de Pez, not only because it's a great wine, but it's owned by our, our good friend Frédéric Rousseau from Yeah, from uh, Rotor. Yeah. So, um, we like selling this wine a lot. It's a beautiful place, the <coughs> Pez. One of the highest plateaus in uh, in Saint Estef. What's the price on that? This one, <laughs> you know, you're gonna laugh when I tell you, but I think we're selling it for eight hundred and fifty Hong Kong dollars. Oh my god! Which would be um, it's like a hundred bucks <laughs> yeah, or less. Bucks. About a hundred bucks. So uh, yeah. that's off the charts. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Okay, and the final one. This Ready is the one the that we one? I really enjoyed. I like the best. Grand Prix du Casse, nineteen seventy. Oh my God! Yeah. How about that? What a t thanks for the taste. That was awesome tasting. tasting. Great. I wish I started every morning like this. 